It's Miranda. The thing that I've been noticing a lot on YouTube is you see a lot of people doing TikTok recipes, right? TikTok hacks, all that stuff. Well, um, there's a reason because there's a lot of them on there that you're just like, oh, I need to try that. I found one. So I'm going to try what this person did in his video. Um, I'm going to do what he did except a little differently because I don't want to cut the crust off. And um, I have different cheese, but pretty much gonna do something very similar. Do I need a double? I'm gonna fill up the dishwasher because I just dropped my son off at school. So I'm a little chaotic right now. Got that morning energy I have to use up before it runs right out. I told you I'm a morning person, and what I mean is I'm up, that's when my energy is its best. Do what I gotta do, and then but usually this is how I work. I also have chronic pain, that might be part of it. So what this person did, so we don't need it too hot. Oh yeah. Alright. Point. It's points. I'm not professional. Okay. Okay. So they didn't they didn't use this. I'm using this. I'm gonna try something. Uh, you know what? Let me melt some butter. There it is. I have an idea. I have an idea. These are high heat silicone. And I have some butter and I need to melt a little butter. Say about that much, because I'm only making one of these. In the video, there were a few. It looked like a little appetizer situation even, but I'm only making one. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the pan and let it melt while I'm waiting. Okay, the rolling pan. So you're going to need a rolling pin. And he used shredded cheese, but I the shredded cheese that I have is not the flavor I feel like having. Land O'Lakes, it melts pretty good. Not sponsored by anybody. These brands are showing up. I don't, I mean, just buy what we buy. <clears throat> so in their video, they cut the crust off. Um, I don't want to cut my crust off. I'm going to keep them on. So I'm just going to roll it. My butter melted. Oof, almost good. All right. Two of them. I'm sure some people would pile more cheese on, but this is fine. <laughs> okay, so now the butter is melted. I'm gonna roll this up. If you're hearing extra noises, my husband's in the kitchen, okay? So that's just how life works. Coffee. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll this up. This way. He didn't do this, but I think I wanna try this because I think that might be fun. So what he did was he sealed, I don't know if it's actually gonna seal, and you see my crust is falling apart. That's why I probably should have cut it off. I just didn't wanna waste bread. But look what I'm doing. I have to change my angle actually. I told you I'm not a professional. I did not plan this out properly. And hopefully it's nice and hot. Put a tiny little bit of this butter right in there. Why not? It's not sizzling, so there you go. You can do this. All right. Put this on here. I'm gonna put it face down just to get that going. All right. We'll just do one of those ones. Isn't this exciting? I just saw this recipe too, and luckily I just cleaned my kitchen, so kind of worked out. I've done it. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. Um, you know, the cool thing, another thing that he had in his video that I do not have, which is such a shame because you know this would be so good, 
if I had tomato soup to dip it in, but I don't. That's the level I failed on. Okay, we're gonna grab a plate. Little grilled cheese roll up situation. Okay, this is this so this is what I've made. Oh wait, should I make it look my video stopped recording when I cut it. Isn't that nice? Exactly what I needed. I told you I was totally professional. There was no cheese pole though, but still. It's pretty disappointing. Try this out for yourself. Put a strip of bacon down the middle maybe or something. It's really good. It's grilled cheese. <laughs>